Hi, I'm Rachel. I asked some theater friends of mine from Playmakers Laboratory to help us create some unique Halloween looks. I'm so glad you're here. Everybody else was so generous about sharing their ideas that I wanted to add something to the whole. So I decided to use some of the equipment that we have in our U-Media spaces. Every U Media space in Chicago Public Library has a 3D printer. One really cool thing about the 3D printing community is how generous people are in sharing their work. You can go onto sites where people have uploaded their work, like Thingiverse, and then depending on the Creative Commons license, you may be able to print it out, you may be able to remix it, and change it up, make it your own. A lot of the time people will ask that you just give them attribution, so credit where credit is due. This unicorn horn was designed by Froust. So thank you Froust for making this available. This is printed in PLA natural filament. So PLA is great because it's biodegradable. You're not putting uh, more nasty plastic out into the world. This is not gonna hurt the environment. I chose to use the natural color to print this because it comes out kind of translucent. If you use the slicer, that's the software that helps you prepare the file for print, you can print it in vase mode. And that means that it won't have a bottom like this. Instead, it'll be hollow. And on the inside, you can insert a little LED light. And then when you put it on your head, you can be a beautiful light up unicorn. So in an ideal world, I'd have my freestanding LED ready to go, but this will give you a little bit of the effect. So the first look I tried was Brandon's DIY tattoo sleeve. I'm going for a warrior unicorn look. Not bad, right? I happen to have this cuff lying around. If I did this again, I might use some actual glitter, uh, maybe a darker colored marker to help it stand out a bit more. But I think this is pretty fun for some subtle unicorn flair. Okay, now I'm gonna try Johnny's technique to mask the eyebrows. It's really important to do this before you do your eye makeup. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Here we go. That's one way to scare little children on Halloween. cleanup and now as you can see I am primarily eyebrow free I feel very wise without eyebrows for whatever reason now I'm gonna draw on a new eyebrow I'm gonna use eyeliner I think you could use any variety of things have fun <laughs> delicate like this I let my focus go a little soft so that I can see both sides of my face and do my best to get a symmetrical look not bad so my tendency is always to sort of overdo if I mess up I like make the line thicker but if you can resist, it's better to go in and fix it later. You can get a little bit of makeup remover on a Q-tip and just kind of fix the mistake you made. All right, so in keeping with my um, unicorn theme, I'm gonna add a little bit of blue to this. Um, it's like a very deep navy almost, and I think it'll help the line stand out better and also kind of add some color for fun. <laughs> some foundation on here too and 
smooth it out. My best tip in makeup and in life is don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Stop while you're ahead. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to try out Ashley's Blood Moon Eye. And for those who are curious, the palette that I'm working with is really bright, really fun, uh, very cheap <laughs> online. <laughs> Mine is clearly a little more dramatic, <laughs> um, extreme, uh, but since I'm going for like a fantastical character, who cares? I'm kind of liking the effect of the pink, so I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna commit and I'm gonna go pink. Why not? Because I'm doing fantasy, I can just like make it nuts. All right. apples in my cheeks with uh, some eyeshadow. I'm just going full shine. I actually might even bring in a little like gold shine now that I'm into it. <laughs> Remember it's supposed to be fun. Wet and Wild Fergie. <laughs> that should give you an idea of how old this is. Still fun. Because everything else is so intense, I'm gonna amp up the eyeliner a little bit um, to match the brow. kind of a warrior and um, you know if you can imagine this horn coming from another unicorn doing some damage that's what I'm going for I'm not gonna lie this part was a little tricky for me so what I ended up doing I took a little bit of the Vaseline and put it in a small jar and then I sprinkled in flour and kind of mixed it um, and then I added my foundation and <laughs> once it got less sticky it, it started off super sticky um, and it still is a little bit but I'm just kind of like dipping it in the flour and then rolling it around and mushing it in there. Getting the gist, you kind of have to work with this fast. Um, and I could just stop here and let it be like a weird cheekbone ridge. <laughs> Maybe I'm a unicorn with extra sharp cheekbones, but let's try for the full effect. My brushes are thicker than um, Isabella's were, so I'm gonna actually try using the, um, this is kind of a stiff brush, and I'm gonna try using that to make my mark. Oh, that's 
kind of cool because it's adding some shadow color. Get a little jagged and gross. I like that. Okay. I'm just gonna go right in with the red, the lipstick. There you have it. A warrior unicorn. If I want to get really gory, maybe I should stick some blood up up, up here, show up in a fight. Um, let's do that actually. You're gonna say, I didn't know unicorns were so violent, and I'm gonna say, what did you think the horn was for? <laughs> Thanks one more time to Playmakers Lab for giving me such great inspiration. I now challenge you to get inspired. Choose one element, choose two or three, put them together in your own unique look. And be sure to tag us online with hashtag CPLTeens. Can't wait to see what you do for Halloween.